But when I read the I'm proud of you, I literally, I heard it. I heard it in my dad's voice and I burst into tears. It's Misha, aka Pieces of Mish, and y'all, I've been crying all morning. I've been crying all morning, can you tell? <laughs> crazy, just literally, just crazy. Um, long story short, y'all, I'm tired of being stubborn. I'm tired. I am actually very tired. It's exhausting. It's exhausting being the rebel. Vel villain era over. It lasted, what, 48 hours? <laughs> I just want to be the soft angel sweet honey princess baby that God intended me to be. And you know what? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Posted a short with my bouquets and a stranger commented and was like, you know, keep up the good work. I'm proud of you. But when I read the I'm proud of you, I literally, I heard it. I heard it in my dad's voice and I burst into tears. I mean, <laughs> crying. The reason why I felt that so strongly is just in December. So December 15th um, is the anniversary of my dad's death. And I posted like, you know, some Instagram stories, you know, talking about how much I miss him. And somebody responded to one of the stories and like, he'd be so proud of you. Or like, I know your dad would be proud. And I was just like, no, you wouldn't. Like, I didn't respond. I said, thank you. But in my mind, I was like, no, he wouldn't. He, my dad wouldn't be proud of me. No. The reason why I was like, I don't, I didn't. I'll, let me rephrase that. The reasons why I didn't feel like he would be proud of me or he is proud of me is because I'm queer. Is because I don't have a consistent, I don't have a, you know, a job. I don't have a family. I don't have kids. I don't have those things that I was raised to believe this is what you should have. This is how you should be. In society and this is how you should move as a Christian and I don't move that way you know what I mean I'm doing my own thing and I'm like my dad would hate me my dad would <laughs> that's literally what I was thinking and bro holding on to that holding on to that for as long as I did it just really made me is angry the right word I don't know it took me all the way back to when I was little you know I I played instruments my whole life I was in marching band and I played volleyball and the only thing my dad ever came to was senior rec for band. He didn't come to anything else ever. And I'm telling you, I had Christmas concerts, recitals, all of those things, and he was never there. And it's not because he didn't want to be there, but it's because he was at work. It's because he was at church. It's because he was doing what he felt he needed to do as a man to provide for his family. And, you know, as a child, you don't understand those things. Like, you don't understand why it's only your mom showing up to support you in these little moments that really mean a lot to you as a child. And when I seen that comment, it had me messed up because I'm like, I read it and I heard it in my dad's voice. And I'm like, Misha, your dad, he, he is proud of you. Like, all of those things, like, although you did, never heard it, you know your dad is proud of you, especially right now, because you would not even be where you are right now if it wasn't for for him as a parent. Like, and I don't know how to, ex I'm going to try to explain that, but, and it has to do with the dream that I had. And I talked about this on Instagram. This was before I knew I was going to work at a farm, before I even thought about working on a farm. I had a dream that we were in the, kitchen of the old church I grew up in Christ Temple shout out to Christ Temple but <laughs> we were in the kitchen in the basement and my dad had a plate of yams and he kept scraping the yams onto my plate and I just kept eating the yams eating the yams you know what I mean and that was the first time I had a dream about my dad where I could see his face because I would only hear his voice but that was the first time I saw his face in a dream a couple days later and I told y'all about this if you follow my Instagram a couple days later I um, found one of his notebooks. And the only reason why I picked up this notebook is because it looked like Harriet the Spy's notebook. So, and I started reading it. I started reading his notebook and which has all like his scriptures and sermons in it. And this got me connected back with like, you know, just God and the Bible and faith and spirituality. So I'm sitting here telling myself, my dad's not proud of me when 
my dad literally gave me the yams. Like he gave me the yams. You know what I mean? And I just got to stop being, I'm tired of being stubborn. I'm tired of acting like I'm not no soft, sweet angel, honey, baby. Like I'm, I'm mad at the, I'm, I'm mad at the wrong people. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just, this all just came to me. This, this was a breakthrough I had today. A genuine breakthrough. Like I feel the heaviness that was on the right side of my body as I was crying. I can feel it just kind of like breaking up, breaking up. And apparently, because I Googled, <laughs> I Googled this. I'm like, why does the right side of my body feel heavier than the left side of my body? And they were talking about, you know, that's your balance and all your yin and your yang. But apparently your right side is your masculine side. And this is where you can hold your father wound. And I'm like, I don't got no father wound. My daddy was there. My daddy took care of us. My dad, you know what I mean? But I think all I really ever wanted to hear him say was like, I'm proud of you. And I know he's proud of me. I know he's proud of me. I know he's proud of me. Like, I know he's, I know he's proud of me. I know for a fact, without a shadow of a doubt, he's proud of me. And I think because of that, at this point, no other validation is necessary from, from anyone out, from anyone that is external of this vessel right here. So with that all being said, <laughs> I reinstalled Instagram. <laughs> and, um, but I'm still not telling y'all my business on there. I'm gonna just post my art. <sighs> it has been an emotionally heavy day and it's only 1.14. But yeah, y'all, that's that was my day. That was my morning. And that's just what I'm healing through right now amongst other things but you know just to share you know to be human um but yeah that's it so if you made it through this whole video like it because y'all and that's what i'm talking about so i'm just kidding <laughs> but if you made it through this whole video thank you so much for watching and just you know bear with me y'all i'm 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 human and i have i have Big emotions that I am really am, I'm really am learning how to, to work through. So, you know, it's like, Misha, you're 34. I know. And that's why I'm trying. That's why I'm in therapy. That's why I do yoga. I'm trying. But yeah, y'all, I'm really done now. So thank you for watching. I'm pretty sure I said I was back on Instagram, but I'm Pieces of Misha on all platforms. So check me out, TikTok, Instagram youtube but only if you about to be you know you about to engage don't don't just watch me for clicks <laughs> i'm just kidding but you know thank you so much for watching and that's all i really have to say just needed to get that off my chest and out there and you know hopefully it can help someone who who feels like they still have some things that they're holding on to from their past from their childhood that they're working through and sometimes those breakthroughs or insights can come from the smallest thing and I really feel like today that's what it was for me but it felt so groundbreaking and so freeing and so healing and you know it it's it's helping me <laughs> to continue to work on my relationships with myself and other people so yeah I think that I'm, I'm that's it for me <laughs> but thank you for watching and um yeah I'll check y'all another time